Alright you guys, so my name is Eddie Lust, Classic Physique Pro. Uh, we're going to get to one of my favorite muscle building meals of the day. It's actually my post-workout meal. I'm in my off-season right now. No shreds to be seen, but uh, we're grown. We're sitting at about 250 pounds right now, so we're up a pretty big amount. You know, got my classic physique debut coming up this year. Make sure to keep an eye out for that. So we're gonna go ahead and get to it. As you guys can already see, we've got two pan fried steaks over here. Nothing too pretty, man. Just getting the food down, getting the macros in. We're gonna go ahead and throw on a cup of egg whites. Classic bodybuilder food right here. And we're also going to throw on three whole eggs from my fats. So nothing too much really, just a good amount of food. And we're also gonna do three fourths of a cup of cream of wheat. It's supposed to be cream of rice, but unfortunately the store didn't have any, so we're gonna have to make do what we got. I'm going from men's physique to classic physique. So it's a bit different. I mean, not a bit, everything is different really. I mean, the amount of food is really intense right now. I am well over 5,000 calories a day easily. And before in men's physique, I never got over 3,500. Like even when I was kind of in a bit of an off season for men's physique, I was carb cycling to not get too big for the division because I grow ridiculously as I'm sure everybody can see now. I mean, I bounced up from my last stage weight at 204, 205 to sitting at waking up this morning at 250. So, I mean, we, we bounced up quick and my body is soaking everything up. It's responding to the training, responding to the food. I mean, I'm enjoying it. And even from a weightlifting perspective, everything is different. I mean, training heavier, training longer, much more volume. But I mean, I'm, I'm keeping up really, really well. So no complaints here. I enjoy the process and I mean, I want to be the best at what I do. So whatever it takes to get to that point, I'm willing to do. Yeah, sticking to a more of a meal plan right now, not really counting calories at all. Just whatever, whatever turns up on the plan is what we eat. But we have two, I have two cheat meals a week, one on Tuesday and one on Sunday. So, I mean, on those days alone, I'm probably sitting at seven, 8,000 calories. <laughs> it's, it's pretty ridiculous. So about 5,000 on a normal day, normal day, seven to eight on a cheat day, so. We're eating big, getting big. So bodybuilding is though, man. Honestly, I prefer, from a feel perspective, I prefer the off season. Simply because like I'm not so stressed about how I look more or less. Like it's the off season. I understand I'm not gonna look perfect. I'm not gonna look ridiculous. I mean, this is where I feel like I shine because I treat the off season just like I treat the prep. Like I get the meals and I get as much rest as I can. I'm religious with my workouts i'm not cutting corners so for me this is where it counts like i'm not mentally struggling i'm not dragging i'm able to perform at a high level consistently so to me this is where the money's made right here all right so we have the cream of wheat in the microwave right now it's three-fourths of a cup like i said normally i do cream of rice but walmart for whatever reason was not carrying any cream of rice today so Cream of wheat it is. This is my main carb source for this meal right here. Uh, it's an insane amount of carbs. I honestly couldn't tell you how much it is. It's well over a hundred. That's for dang sure. But it, it is heavier and it takes me time to get it down. Uh, with this meal, I like to take a digestive enzyme with it to help the food get through my system faster, digest, uh, get to where it needs to go quicker. I try to do two, two digestive enzymes a day along with cinnamon just to help with digestion because I've noticed with me, yes, my body can utilize the food well, but when I start getting into that upper level of food, I start to bloat a little bit. Like I start to hold water in my midsection and in my face and everything. And I've noticed since putting in the digestive enzymes and the cinnamon, we have been able to mitigate holding on to too much. As you can see, this bowl is dang near full. Like. It's a lot of carbs. It's a lot of freaking carbs, man, seriously. <laughs> so we're gonna stir this up. It's gonna thicken up as we stir it. These egg whites cooking right here. Pretty sure I burned my pan, but oh well. It's 
not pretty, but it's going to do the job. Feel free to comment on my horrendous cooking skills. <laughs> All right, you guys, so we've got our meal in front of us right here. We have three-fourths of a cup of cream of wheat, supposed to be cream of rice, they didn't have any, too bad. Uh, about a handful of blueberries for our antioxidants. We have a cup of egg whites here with three eggs and three ounces of steak. So as you can see, there's a good bit of protein, but also a good bit of fat. Now, the reasoning behind that is because my body responds very, very well to fats. Like, I fill out insanely off of fats. Carbs are good, but fats, we learned, really get me going. And so for me to stay full, I have to bring in an adequate amount of fat. So that's what the steak is for. That's what the three whole eggs are for. We've got our carb source right here. So we're about to go ahead and uh, dig into this post-workout meal right now. Do you feel like feeding yourself, like eating like this, it's, it's sometimes even harder than being hungry, or would you still prefer to this over being hungry? Oh, I still prefer this any <laughs> day of the week, to be honest with you. That starving stuff is, is tough. But, you know, I will say it, it it has its moments when it's a lot. Like, even this meal, for example, like this is just so big for me, it just takes a minute to get through. Like, it doesn't look like it, but this is an insane amount of food, and it really does take time to get through, but, I mean, it is what it is to me. That's that's bodybuilding to me. You know what I mean? Sitting down, struggling to eat your food. You know, lifting the heavy weights, getting enough food in to sustain yourself through lifting those heavy weights. I mean, that's what you sign up for. You know what I mean? There's no caveats. There's no magic pills. There's nothing that's gonna make this any easier on anybody. If you want to be a success, you gotta eat. All right, you guys, so we just finished my post-workout meal. The eggs, the steak, and the cream of wheat. I am insanely full right now. Like I said, that's the biggest meal of the day. I probably am not gonna wanna eat again for a while, but I don't have the luxury. We're gonna get this food down today, and we're gonna get freaking full. <laughs> 